Long before anyone can remember, there was a small island on the edge of the world, the last stop before the new world. And its people traveled the world, taking their place in the memory of the world. And the years passed and the world changed, and that island on the edge of the world found itself in the center of the world, connecting the world, making the world smaller, by thinking big, dreaming dreams the world could share, sharing with the world our own very special part of the world. And what have we discovered on this little island in the middle of the world? We've discovered the world likes the way we do things, and there's nothing in this world we can't achieve. Imagine a tournament, the envy of the world, a festival of rugby, more than participation, celebration. A world of memories for the world to share. We are ready to create something unforgettable. Ireland, ready for the world. Uh, the team to start this weekend against Australia is Jack McGrath, Rory Best as captain, <coughs> Tyg Furlong, Ian Henderson, Devon Toner. Um, at six is CJ Stander, seven Sean O'Brien, and eight Jamie Heaslip. Connor Murray and uh, Paddy Jackson are the halves. Um, on the wings, Keith Earls and Andrew Trimble. Gary Ringrose and Jared Payne in the midfield and Rob Carney at fullback. On the bench are Sean Cronin, uh, Ken Healy and Finlay Bielham, Alton Delan and uh, Josh van der Fleer. And in the backs, Kieran Marmy and Joey Carberry and Simon Zebo. So what do you think you like to do? 
Um, in Henderson was was fresh. Uh, Donna Karan has put in a huge shift. He's played in all three games so far. Uh, he, he was pretty pretty fatigued after the most. Gary Ringrose, he he gets to he gets to play inside uh, Jared Payne, so I, I think he gets to another real learning experience and another real experience to, to step up. I think up against Reese Hodge and Tavita Kurandrani, uh, that's a massive ask for him. Uh, both they're both very big men as well as uh, starting to develop real experience. Reese Hodge and and Tavita Kurandrani's obviously got that. Um, and then with Keith Earls. Uh, Simon Zebo was very sore after the game. Uh, he, he's taken two or three days. He trained today, but um, you know, di probably didn't train flat out. Uh, he's, he's still got another 48 hours to fully recover, and, and we're hopeful that he, he'll be 100% by Saturday. So with that little bit of lingering doubt, Keith Earls brings a, a freshness to, to the group, and hopefully um, you know, th that will add a bit of vitality. Um, also, Keith's roundly experienced, um, also gives us a bit of midfield cover should we need it, so that versatility is, is not too bad to have either. Yeah, uh, Rob trained for the first time today, um, and again, just we just trained him away quietly because uh, you know that's, that's how you progress them back, and he's still got another 48 hours to really build himself into, into this weekend's match. Um, same with CJ Stander. Just on Gary in centre, can you tell us why you've, uh, I suppose, some of the qualities you've seen in him in, in over some of the more natural twelve options that, that were available today to create Luke and, and Phil Hayden? Yeah, I, I think really it, it it's uh, probably a reflection of his performance last week. To be honest, I, I thought Gary stepped in uh, and did incredibly well. He, I think he. He managed to get himself up uh, in, in the top three tacklers in the, in the game, which is, is a, fair, um, a fair reflection of the effort he made. I thought he, he also slipped a couple of tackles and almost got, he, he got one line break and, and almost got another couple. Um, and it, it's another opportunity to invest in Gary. We, we've obviously had him in camp for the last year and a half at, at different times. And so he's been a bit of a long-term investment that, we, we want to take this opportunity to develop a little bit further. John, um, Rory Jones Cup, you speak a little bit about the player and the leader. Yeah, um, it's going to be a special day for him, I think, as well. Um, you know, Rory's one of these fellows who's, who's always thinking about the bigger picture and I suppose who's always looked after the younger guys uh, when, when they've come in, um, myself included. Um, you know, he's a phenomenal player and a leader and he's someone you look to when, when you're under pressure. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a great day for him and uh, he'll continue to do what he's, what he's done for us uh, uh, 99 times before. How does this compare to the men who went before him? Yeah, well, everyone is a little bit different, but um, I think Rory is, is similar to the lads in terms of his actions, uh, speak louder than words and... Um, you know, he's a very uh, disciplined player and plays on the edge and he's, he's hard as well. So he's a, he's a good mixture of, of uh, you know, what you need and your captain. And um, he's a calm head when, when, when needs be too. So, um, you know, he's a lot of attributes that, uh, you know, we really look up to. John, can you talk about what you had to do to get through 80 minutes last week, considering how long you were resting up or recovering? Um, yeah, I didn't, have to, I didn't have to do much. I suppose the prep was done during the week and... Um, you know, I have prepared myself to play a full game, so um, you know I was very happy to do that and, and um, glad I did. How close was that to your best shot? Do you think your opponent? Uh, I don't think I don't I don't I think I'm a little bit off still. I think I've uh, a lot of improvement in myself um, in different areas, and um, you know that's that's why I'm looking forward to this week. Um, you know to build again on on uh, on, on last week and. Um, See where we go from here. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're expecting from Australia? Yeah, we're obviously expecting a very physical game. Um, you know, I think uh, the major threats all over the field. You know, the world-class players um, such as Pocock, Cooper, 
Flau, Guinea, um, you know, people who lo who love to be on the ball and and uh, and over the ball in terms of the back rowers they have. Um, you know, so they have a very good set piece and they want to play fast and, and get over the game line. So, um, you know, an exciting challenge for us, um, but a very dangerous side. Joe, from what you've seen in training this week, obviously the number of players scoring opportunities last weekend, how confident are you that you will be more clinical on Saturday? Uh, to be honest, it's, it's hard to be super confident because we haven't actually put that much together this week. I, I think it's really important that we, uh, that we look back to try to progress and uh, and tidy a few things up, we were probably just one little slip up with our handling away from scoring a couple of times. And you know, one, one thing that gives us confidence is that we we still created that. We still had a you know a fourteen nine deficit with uh, a quarter of the match to go, um, and, and we'd probably let three or four chances. Um, you know that you'd hope to have got got one of. Uh, we'd let those slip and. So we knew we weren't far away, and and it, it, I think it was probably a stronger All Blacks team that we played in in Dublin than we did in Chicago with uh, Retallick and and Sam Whitelock back. They didn't have uh, too many disruptions apart from the yellow cards. They didn't have to have to make too many injury replacements apart from Savia for uh, Sam Kane, and that was a like for like. Whereas opposed uh, in Chicago, they they got a bit jumbled in the back line toward the end when they lost they lost Crotty early and then George Moala as well. So uh, against uh, you know a team that had played I don't know 13 tests together uh, over a, a period of time, w we still felt that having created those opportunities, uh, we'd worked pretty hard and we weren't that far away from from converting them. So. You know, I, I think a fair bit of mental application goes into making sure that we that we get things right in uh, in the front end of the of the pitch, um, and at the same time, you know, we slipped up a, a little bit at our end of the pitch to give them opportunities, and they didn't need too many invitations. Joe, Donald, sorry, Donald, and Keith finished. Joe, just wondering how, how much weight does the result this weekend have in terms of the overall complexion of the November series? Um. It, uh, I'm massively keen that we get a good performance. I, I think there's there's a few things that uh, w we want to work really hard on this this weekend, and that will give us uh, a, a little bit of feedback on ourselves that we can hopefully then take into the Six Nations because you know that's the big tournament we play, so it, it has a context from that perspective. You're always chasing the result. You you always want to win, and <coughs> you you know that. The, wa the Wallabies are, are going to be incredibly tough. They're third ranked in the world. You know, we, we want to challenge them as much as we possibly can. And, and we feel if we can just get our performance right and get the bits and pieces of the game that we want to be really strong in, if we can get those right, then, then hopefully uh, we're close enough to them as we were to the All Blacks last week, except the, 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 there's a, a small swing in those fine margins that we actually convert a few of the the chances that we create. Uh, Nick, I think, um, he's that third out. Um, just in terms of the midfield shape, obviously last weekend those guys were thrust in earlier than you'd have liked. Just with that um, chance to, to do to play together under their belts, will that give them more confidence for it to have more of the kind of shape you want? Yeah, that's what we're hoping. We we we, we lost our shape. It, you know, it, it was it was quite difficult. You know, sometimes you create chances, but. Um, if you don't have leadership, then you don't tend to have cohesion. Then guys aren't in the right place at the right time. And uh, you know, Robbie was an absolute standout player for us in Chicago. And then not having him uh, probably didn't allow us quite so much robustness through that midfield. And not having Johnny didn't quite give us the same degree of organisation. Mainly because not that Paddy can't do it, because we saw in South Africa he can, but he he hadn't had nearly as much time in the saddle in recent times as Johnny had had. So what we're hoping this week is they had a bit of game time together last week. They, we trained a little bit on Tuesday, but we trained fully today, and, and those guys hopefully get a bit of confidence from that, and, and we can see a, a little bit of that confidence reflected in, hopefully, the performance that we put together on Saturday. Okay, guys, we'll um, just shut down that part without going to the, the next one, the few things really. Um, TV guys, you were down in Duke. Um, Radio online.